okay so selecting source analyzer you can pick up anything okay depends on uh, where you are selecting automatically it will take you somewhere and you will get these menus okay so this is where your actual entry point in a development so here we have seen okay how do i have to define sources okay when i am defining the sources i need to choose from what are the tables so any table whichever you are planning okay so you can go and define all tables at a time okay you may use or you may let's say in a programming black way when you are writing a c java you can declare n number of variables x y z whether you are using that variable or not is a different story but uh, the defining the variable there is a way so integer x and integer y like this so here also from what are the source table you are planning to extract okay so those tables we have to define here so there are two ways not only two there are two three ways okay so one of the way is so what are, first of all you have to identify or before going to start informatica so you need to decide what program you are writing so i am planning to write a program to read data from one particular table okay that uh, table name is okay emp src okay let's say it is a simple emp table but i have named it as inf451 because i have so many other emp tables okay so there are two ways one is go to source and then create here so you can start okay typing so what type of table it is whether the oracle table or sap table or a db2 table and all okay so you can start typing table name column name and all so that is one method the second method is i can go and create okay import it from a database so we already have a table there directly okay because this generally this is called okay uh, reverse engineering okay or importing the metadata okay so this table structure okay uh such a information i want to pick up over here okay so i whatever table structure is there so this structure means so the table whatever table you are planning to read so i have imported so always remember when i go and import okay it will import only the table definition or table structure okay what exactly the table it is not going to import data so right now I have 14 records in this particular table okay so these records are fourteen records are there here so these fourteen records will not come here remember just it indicates that this is a table okay there is a table present in the database so this will not have any records here okay it is just simple a table definition that's why it is called metadata so repository so whenever i save this okay it is going to save in a repository so why repository is called as it stores metadata I means it stores only programs structures whatever code you develop not the data data means that put in the card still data is here only okay so that's why it is called metadata or structure anything what are all are synonyms okay so fine so your data is here but the table structure is here so you are telling informatica that there is one table from there i want to read so to import this what i have done okay so i went here import from database okay so in order to import to because you already have a table in a database okay here we have one method called odbc okay so this odbc stands for open database connectivity okay so this is a way this is a method to okay can so generally the name itself would be open database connectivity so this is one small uh, utility or a program or you can call as a software can help you to connect okay any place to other database 
so right now i will informatica okay so if i want to connect to oracle database okay database is a different software and then informatica is a different software so it will have some drivers to connect it to any database okay that's why they named as a open database connectivity so there are so many this software microsoft odbc and then there are so many other vendors who pro provide this software so generally in informatica by default when you install okay you will have odbc software by default installed so generally uh, when i'm going to source go to import from database okay so when you go here okay if you click down here you will see, it will show you list of all databases so in order to connect to, to a database and then get all the information let's say table definitions and all okay from oracle or whatever database it is so you can just go here click on this button here okay so we'll get into it so generally this is a very common technology even in the java dot net other technologies also everybody uses odbc okay so it is taking you to odbc window here so here you'll have user and system dsm the difference from the user and system is if i create anything in user dsm dsm stands for data source name okay in odbc okay you'll be creating okay dsm this stands for data source name okay so whenever you create anything in user dsn it means that you are going to it, this can be used only by the person who created let's say into windows operating system i logged in with some user okay so whatever user with what user you have created okay only those users can access this okay others cannot access but when you create anything in a system dsn and whatever you create in system dsn can be used by all other users okay there is no technical difference only access difference when i create anything here only the user who created can access and the system dsn whatever you create okay can be accessed by everyone okay so here you can create anywhere because we are the one person going to use it so i am going to use a dsn and say add okay so most of the times when you are working in informatica okay always try to use okay so data direct so these are all data direct means these are all driver software which will be coming along with your informatica software when you install informatica software so these drivers will be seen here so you will have a driver name for every technology okay so right now i'm picking up okay data direct to oracle wide protocol because i am planning to connect it to oracle and then get the table definition okay so i'm just selecting okay data direct to 6.1 okay even in other places you can also use okay micro some people will also use microsoft odbc for oracle either you can use this or you can use this one okay but the problem is when you using this one okay so there you will have some technical challenges in terms of 32 bit and 64 bit if you see in the market every every system which you buy nowadays is a 64 bit operating system so windows okay uh, whatever software whatever software you are installing okay with respect to informatica if you are hardware your system is 64 bit then you have to install only informatica 64 bit software if your system is 32 bit you have to install informatica 32 bit software only so this is common quite common for all the technologies okay but uh, one problem for informatica people is informatica client is only 32 bit okay informatica client software always currently so far okay will work only on a 32 bit so you will have okay in case your hardware machine like if in in my case also my laptop is 64 bit okay but when i install informatica client so client is a 32 bit so you will have some challenges so this is some again admin related issue don't worry so that's why always choose oracle wide protocol okay you will not have any problem otherwise okay of course you can choose it okay but uh, if you are uh, operating system is 32 bit okay this will work perfectly otherwise it may not work okay so that's why so better you use always data direct oracle wide protocol and say finish so when you say finish it will ask you data source name so this name of your choice
So this name you can give any name. Okay, I'm just giving data source name. So this is the name. So whatever I'm going to create, so this will be referenced with this particular name. Okay, so description and all you can ignore. So host name. Okay, so you give the host name where your Oracle software is installed means running. So currently it is on our machine. Okay, in a real time. So this will be your actual system name where your Oracle database is running. Okay, so uh, this generally it will never be local host in a real scenario. Okay, because you will have Oracle software it will be installed on a different machine and then your informatica will be somewhere and then you will, I will give you the diagram later. Okay, so currently everything is on my machine. I am giving a local host. Okay, so port number on which port Oracle is running. So by default, Oracle will be running on 1521 port, you can give that port. SID is nothing but your database ID. So most commonly when you install Oracle software with all default options, it will be ORCL. Okay, but generally you can choose a different name when you are installing. But maybe in your machines it may be ORCL. Okay, so what I am doing, I am giving some database connection. Okay, where my Oracle database is installed and running. So that information I have given here. Okay, and say okay. So when you say okay, so whatever just now I have given the name, okay, you can see here. Okay, Ora Scott 51. Okay, so when you see this will work for 32 and 64 bit, that's why we are using this. Okay, so now to verify this, once it is created, it will be showing over here. When you go to configure, okay, so you will come back to here. So to verify that whatever connection information I have given it is right or not, okay, so you can say test connection. So it is trying to go to Oracle database and then trying to connect. So to connect, it is asking for username password to see whether it is working or not. If you see connection established, okay, then means whatever information you have given is right. So Informatica is able to communicate to Oracle database, okay using this whatever configuration we have done okay so that is fine okay so you can just close it so once you close this so i went here and created so now you can see that list whatever is created right now you can see that over here so right now so this is whenever i use oracle start 51 means it is odbc driver odbc data source name what it has, whenever in future, whenever I refer ORAS card 51 DSN means, I am using that local host and 1521 and an Apple. So that is the configuration it is using. Okay. So now I am giving, so now I want to use this, using this I want to connect it to Oracle database and then get whatever table names you want to import here, means define here. So right now I am going to give username password say connect. So when you say connect, using this, okay, it is connecting to Oracle database and then it will show list of all the tables which are available. Okay, so you can pick up any number of tables one after one or one after one, okay, and if the, in case your table list is very big, so you can directly type your table name here, very here and then search. Okay, so here you will see two options, so show owners all. Default means whatever username you have given here, it will show tables only related to this particular user. If you say all, okay, it will show the user or tables which are there in other users also, which SCART can access. Okay, so default means it will pick up only tables from the SCART only. Okay, if you say all, it will show list of all the tables, okay, which SCART can access. Okay, so right now there is only one table. It will take too much time. Generally, don't uh, or never keep uh, this all option because it takes too much time. Okay, see for more than 500 regards. So it will pick, it will show you list out tables from all other users. Okay, which SCART can access. So that's why I always go to default. It will show only tables of SCART only because I am interested in SCART. And uh, I am looking for only the table which I want or you can select whatever table you want. All are same and say OK.
So now the table imported here. So you see there are two tables, but uh, this table I have imported from different uh, data source name, means a different ODBC connection. So this I have imported from different uh, ODBC name. Okay. So now you can see this table whatever I imported is showing here, and uh, this table whatever imported is showing here. So this is also for senior people is one of the question. Can we have okay two table same table names twice in source analyzer? Okay, so generally people will say no because whenever I try to create it, we we'll say you already have this table. Okay, but it is possible okay to have okay this see the table name EMP SRS NF51 both are same table names. Okay, but so it is listing under this ODBC and this is listing under this ODBC. So it is possible. It is quite possible to have same tables, okay, uh, with the same name, multiple tables with the same name, provided if they are in different ODBC. If I try to again, let's say for example, I'll try to import again, okay. I'll use same database connection, okay, and give my table name and say connect. Say this one. Say okay. Okay. Now it will say. Whatever table you are importing, you are importing from this particular name. Okay, so your table is already present here. Okay, under this particular folder means under particular ODBC connection. So it is asking you. So there is already one table present. Okay, so it will ask you whether you want to rename or replace. When you say replace, it will go and override previously whatever table is there. And when you say rename, it will keep the Previous copy as it is, and then it will create a new table. Okay, you have to give a different name for that. Okay, so that is actually not right. So I'm just R. I can say skip. So R you can say compare. Compare means it will compare what are the differences. Skip means it will not do anything. So if same ODBC, you have to give different. Uh, it will ask you to replace our rename, but if it is a different ODBC, it will simply import it. Okay, this is how. So well, so when I say import. Okay, the table definitions are important. The table structure have been imported. 